Hello and welcome to lesson eight for an inspector course. Today's title is Eric's Confession. So if you write that down in your exercise book, and then I would like you to have a go at answering these five questions on the screen. You can order them, answer them in whatever order you want. Um, but remember, the higher the grade, the higher the detail. So pause the video now and answer the questions. So how did you do? So what I want you to do is using a green pen or a different colour pen, pause the video and add to or correct your answers for those questions. So Mrs Burling, um, the end of Act 2, has said that the father of Eva's baby is entirely responsible, which is an example of dramatic irony because the audience and pretty much everyone else on the stage at this point, except Mrs Burling, has clocked that the father of Eva's baby is Eric. He's been acting incredibly shifty all night. He's been downing bottle and bottle of port after another. He's squiffy um, and clearly has recognised that he's done something wrong. Um, but in terms of understanding the context, you need to kind of understand gender roles in those times, particularly when it came to like, parenting. Um, so in 1912, no woman could raise a child born outside of marriage and remain in polite society or employment. And polite society is basically an, a nice way of saying that um, people would kind of stop speaking to you and shun you um, if you became an unmarried mother. Um, you would be known as a fallen woman um, and just basically lose your reputation for being a respectable person. Um, and any hope of having a good life would be gone. And so it was expected that the father of a child would marry the woman um, because he had, quote, gotten her into trouble. It's the kind of expressions that people would use um, to save her reputation. Um, and to kind of help express this, you have a picture here, which is from Victorian times, again, which wasn't that long before Edwardian times. So 1912 isn't that long after Victorian times, when you have a picture of an unmarried woman leaving her baby at the Foundling Hospital, uh, which was quite common. Um, if you were an unmarried woman, you might give your child up for adoption. Um, and it was starting to become more socially acceptable to be an unmarried woman um, who was a mother after World War II, mainly because of the high numbers of deaths in World War II, but even then there was still some shame attached to it. So the 1945 audience would still kind of recognise that Eric was to blame and that he was to some certain extent responsible for helping Eva Smith. So Priestley has kind of used this example because a 1945 audience would have a similar reaction to Mrs Burling in that sense that they would expect the father to be doing something to help. That wouldn't have changed between 1912 and 1945. So what we're going to do now is we're going to watch the film. So you're watching from 58 minutes, so that's where we left off from last lesson, and you're watching up to an hour and eight minutes. Um, so pretty much when Inspector Gould says the pitiable bit of organised charity you had in your power to grant her to Mrs Burling. Um, and remember to return to this video once you have watched the film. So what we're going to do now is we are going to annotate your copy of the play. So we are starting from the beginning of Act 3 and we're annotating pages 50 to 55 in today's lesson. So you will need your copy of the play, a highlighter and a pen. Um, and remember to check with your class teacher if you're unsure of anything mentioned in the video. So our last activity for today's lesson is to read this statement on the screen. So it says being remorseful, which means sorry for what you have done, does, lessen, does little to lessen the audience's disgust at Eric's shocking revelations. So. I want you to write 200 words. So this doesn't matter if what set you're in. Um, you are aiming to develop your opinion as an audience member 
to in response to this statement. So including quotations from the play, argue if you agree or disagree with that statement. So being remorseful does little to lessen the audience's disgust at Eric's shocking revelations. So you need to think about whether the audience feel more angry towards Eric, who potentially raped Eva, got her pregnant, um, left her unmarried, um, or does the fact that he is clearly guilty and he clearly recognises he's done something wrong and has tried to make amends for that by um, offering her financial support. Admittedly, it was stolen from his father's business. Um, he tried to marry her, which in those times would actually be quite a big deal, given that he was upper class and she was working class. She was unemployed. She had nothing. Um, so how much kind of sympathy, but also do we still respect Eric's character after we hear this news? So you need to write 200 words agreeing or disagreeing with that statement. 